Dr. Daycare, we have always been committed to maintaining a clean and safe environment for our children and our staff. In this video, we're going to go over how to clean, sanitize, and disinfect surfaces, classrooms, and any other areas you may be responsible for. It's important for all of us to do our part in slowing the spread of the flu and other infectious diseases. By taking the steps outlined in the next few minutes, we can keep our facilities safe for everyone together. Did you know that the CDC outlines steps to best clean and disinfect schools? First, know the difference between cleaning, disinfecting, and sanitizing. Clean and sanitize surfaces and objects that are frequently touched. Follow along with your center's cleaning checklist and immediately clean surfaces or objects that are visibly soiled. Do routine cleaning and disinfecting. We'll go over that and more up next. Clean, sanitize, and disinfect correctly by always following labeled directions on cleaning products and disinfectants. Use products safely. Pay close attention to hazard warnings and directions on labels. So what's the difference between cleaning, disinfecting, and sanitizing? Cleaning removes germs and dirt from surfaces or objects. We clean simply with soap and water on a paper towel. Sanitizing kills most germs. Clean first, then sanitize. We sanitize all items that have been in a child's mouth, in addition to any surface that could be used for food preparation or eating. Disinfecting kills all germs on surfaces or objects. We disinfect bathrooms, diaper changing areas, and any area that may have come into contact with bodily fluids. Now that we know the differences between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting, let's go over when we should use each method. The following surfaces or objects should be sanitized, and remember, always clean before sanitizing. Countertops and shelves, door and cabinet handles, light switches, chairs, tables, sensory table or receptacles used for water play, cots and cribs, hard, non-porous toys, sinks for hand washing in classrooms, sinks for food preparation, reusable tableware, tables and surfaces for food preparation, high chair trays, dishwasher, food preparation areas, water fountain, shared electronics. The following surfaces or objects should be disinfected, but only after a thorough cleaning. Diaper changing surfaces, diaper trash container, bathroom sinks, toilets, bodily fluids. At Dr. Daycare, we outline this in more detail in our cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting policy with a full list of cleaning methods. To sanitize and disinfect, Dr. Daycare sites use Pure Tabs. Pure Tabs is a sustainable, solid tablet which dissolves in water to become a powerful hypochlorous acid that, depending on concentration, is used as a food surface sanitizer and a hospital grade disinfectant. These EPA registered tablets dissolve quickly in water to form a sanitizing solution that is NSF D2 certified safe for food contact surfaces with no rinsing required. To get started, you'll need a large container for mixing and distribution, spray bottles, which should be always kept out of children's reach and never contain other chemicals, Pure Tabs tablets, tap water, and chlorine test strips. Diluted Pure Tabs are stable for three to seven days once diluted and stored in a closed container. In an open container, the solution is stable for 24 hours. Be sure to check solution strength with chlorine test strips periodically. Although the Pure Tab solution is food safe, do not spray while children are seated at a table. As with all cleaning solutions, use care while spraying in a child care setting. To sanitize, Pure Tab solution should be measured to equal 100 parts per million, or PPM. To make this food contact surface sanitizer solution, simply drop a Pure Tabs tablet into the water. There are three sizes of Pure Tabs tablets, 334 milligrams, 3.3 grams, and 13.1 grams. Many of our centers typically use the smallest, 334 milligram Pure Tabs. If it is not available, there are other options to mix a lot of solution in a container and distribute into spray bottles. To sanitize at 100 ppm, mix one of the following. Using a 334 milligram Pure Tabs tablet, drop one tablet into a one quart spray bottle. 
For 3.3 grams Pure Tabs tablet, drop one tablet into a 2.5 gallon bucket and pour in spray bottles. For a 13.1 gram Pure Tabs tablet, drop a quarter tablet into a 2.5 gallon bucket, or half tablet into a 5 gallon bucket, or one tablet into a 10 gallon bucket and pour into spray bottles. Use chlorine test strips to check the solution after first mixing. Check again throughout the week to ensure it is still equal to 100 parts per million. And if mixing in a large container, distribute to small, closed containers. Spray the Pure Tabs in water solution. Allow the solution to air dry for at least one minute on the surface, such as a table or a high chair. The surface should not be sprayed and immediately wiped, and no rinsing is required for the Pure Tab solution. Sanitizing solutions are made once per week. To disinfect, Pure Tab solution should be measured to equal 538 parts per million, or ppm. To disinfect at 538 ppm, mix either a 334 milligrams Pure Tabs tablet, drop six tablets in a one quart spray bottle, or a 3.3 grams Pure Tabs tablet, drop one tablet in a two quart container and pour into spray bottles. Use chlorine test strips to check the solution. After spraying, allow the solution to air dry for at least one minute on the surface, such as a table or a high chair. And remember, do not immediately wipe. No rinsing is required for the Pure Tab solution. A new solution is made daily or when needed to reach 538 ppm. Check the solution every morning, dispose and make new if needed. If a child or staff member is diagnosed with an infectious disease, a stronger disinfectant solution may be sprayed under the administrator's guidance. See Pure Tabs product sheet for times and details to kill different pathogens. Prepare solution strength as required, refer to the usage table for correct doses and contact times. Next, refer to the dilution chart for solution preparation. Apply the solution to pre-cleaned hard surfaces. Allow to remain wet for the contact time as indicated in the usage table. Be sure to familiarize yourself with your center's cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting policy. Today you've learned the importance of cleaning, official CDC classroom cleaning guidelines, the key differences between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting, when and where to use each cleaning method, and how we clean here at Dr. Daycare. Thank you so much for everything you do to keep our children and staff safe every single day.